now we are going to discuss about the various uh, financial control uh, techniques so it will estimate the present uh, financial uh, status of the company and uh, determine the financial feasibility of the product during the conceptual phase by developing a cost estimation based on the designer uh, ideas it will estimate the required investment that would be necessary for each stage of the product development and uh, it framing the cost benefit discussion uh, that need to take place between the product development team and uh, senior management to move the product uh, through development process it estimates the uh, cost involved uh, for the working staff materials technology new equipment process product design prototyping overhead cost uh, market research product promotion distribution and etc it will analyze the cost for various uh, risk associated uh, with the product development and uh, launching it estimate the feasible market share and uh, forecasting the demand uh, for your uh, likely profits exercising uh, financial control through various activities involves uh, adoption of uh, strategies and uh, techniques a new product is a result of uh, various activities under the continuous changing circumstances so if yes, there is a need to use appropriate techniques for uh, controlling different types of uh, financial activities so a few major techniques uh, are uh, briefed as uh, follows the various uh, financial control uh, techniques are uh, first one is your budgetary control second one is your return on investment third one is your break even analysis and fourth one is your uh, ratio analysis so first one is your uh, budgetary control in the development of a new product a budget uh, may referred as a numerical estimate or a plan prepared in advance depicting the overall cost from initial product development stage through its delivery its mere preparation of the budget does not help achieve the goals and objective of the company instead a certain control must be exercised over the estimated plan the exercise of control with the help of a budget is known as budgetary control so budgetary controls are uh, involves uh, comparing the budgeted uh, figures with actual performance or uh, planned expenditure for calculating the variances and uh, taking corrective actions it ensures the best possible uh, use of uh, available resources uh, to maximize the profit of the company next one is your return on uh, investment uh, it is uh, one of the important uh, tool or your technique for your uh, financial control it will evaluate the efficiency of an uh, investment it is usually calculated uh, using your formula is a net profit uh, before interest and taxes divided by your total investment into and over ro is the end product of a series of uh, statistical uh, measures representing the various phases of a company operation that contribute uh, this ratio expecting healthy returns on uh, new product development on the overall economics of the business so break even uh, analysis uh, is a financial control technique uh, widely used to determine the number of uh, units uh, the business needs to sell in order to avoid uh, losses ratio analysis is one of the tool of uh, financial control and is used to judge uh, financial performance of a company ratio is computed by taking the proportion of the one financial variable with another related to the financial variable by calculating the ratio between two related financial variable useful for interpretation can be made with ultimately help makes appropriate decision financial variables are collected from the financial statements such as a profit and loss account and balance sheet ratio analysis also helps in the preparation of the budget because a different ratio act as a guide for determining the budgeted figure for the different activities uh, now i'm going to play a small video for your uh, better understanding when it comes to starting a business achieving lift off can be exhilarating however it's also when the journey can be the most perilous Immediately after launch, the business is working just to stay afloat until the point you know you're in the clear. But what does that mean and how will you know? It's called break even, and put simply, it's the point at which a business is neither making a profit nor a loss, rather, it's momentarily floating in limbo. The break even point is the total amount of sales a business needs to achieve before it starts being profitable. 
or more technically, a business's fixed cost of production, like rent, divided by how much you sell the product for, minus the variable costs per unit sold, like ingredients or materials. How much you sell the product, minus variable costs, is usually called your contribution margin. Confused? Don't worry, here's an example. Let's say it costs Pizza Planet $8 to make one pizza, and they sell the pizza for $12. That means their contribution margin is $4. So, if Pizza Planet's only fixed cost is $500 rent, to find out the number of pizzas they need to sell to break even, they simply divide the rent by the contribution margin. This means they need to sell 125 pizzas, and any pizza sold after that would contribute to the company's net profit. So, you can see by conducting a break-even analysis, a business is able to determine the price of a product, how many need to be sold, as well as identify and potentially reduce excessive fixed costs, ultimately allowing a business to reach profitability and beyond. How to learn ratio analysis formulas in 15 minutes. Learning ratio analysis formulas are not easy, but with a few simple tips by the experts, it will become a piece of cake for you. Ratio analysis. What is ratio analysis? So basically, ratio analysis is a process to gain a deeper insight into the financial health of a company by comparing and analyzing the information provided in the financial statements. Ratio analysis formulas. To compare and analyze the information recorded in the financial statements, certain formulas are used. Let's have a look at them. Liquidity Ratio Profitability Ratio Working Capital Ratio Capital Structure Ratio Overall Profitability Ratio Liquidity Ratio The first one is the liquidity ration which is also known as Solvency Ratio. It focuses on the company's current assets and liabilities to analyze if it can pay the short-term debts. The three common liquidity ratios and their formulas are Current ratio, current assets upon current liabilities Quick ration, liquid assets upon current liabilities Absolute liquid ratio, absolute liquid assets upon current liabilities Profitability ratio Another ratio is the profitability ratio that analyzes how a company uses its assets and how effectively it generates the profit from the equities and assets. Let's take a look at some examples of profit ratio and their formulas. Gross profit ratio, gross profit upon net sales multiply by 100. Operating profit ratio, operating profit upon net sales multiply by 100. Net profit ratio, Operating profit upon net sales multiply by 100. Working capital ratio. The next one on the list is the working capital ratio. This ratio analyzes if the company can pay off the current debts or liabilities using the current assets. Some of the common working capital ratios and their formulas are Inventory ratio, net sales upon inventory. Debtors turnover ratio, total sales upon NBSP, account receivables. Debt collection ratio, receivables multiplied by months or days in a year upon net credit sales for the year. Capital structure ratio. Capital structure ratio is one of the important financial ratios that analyzes how structurally a firm uses the capital or funds to finance its operations. The examples and formulas of capital structure ratio are Debt equity ratio, total long-term debts upon shareholders fund. Proprietary ratio, shareholders fund upon total assets capital gearing ratio equity share capital upon fixed interest bearing funds overall profitability ratio the last ratio is overall profitability ratio that measures how profitable a particular firm or company is or how it can turn its assets and capital into profits for future use an example of overall profitable ratio and its formula is overall profitability ratio net profit upon total assets.
Tips to learn ratio analysis formulas easily. 1. Understand. 2. Categorize. The first tip is to understand all the ratios because simply trying to memorize them will make it difficult to remember them. So, try to understand all the ratios so that they can stick to your memory. Write down each ratio and work each out several times using different numbers until you have a firm grasp of what each one means. The second tip is to categorize each set of financial ratios according to the type of information it provides. Market valuation, liquidity, profitability, efficiency, coverage, and leverage are six categories in which you can place the most financial ratios. 3. Prioritize 4. Create visual representation Prioritizing the key financial ratios is an amazing tip that should be followed. So, prioritize and learn the most important ones first to remember them easily. Pick out the five most important ratios and learn them well until they stick to your brain. And last but not least, try to create an elaborate visual representation of each element of the financial ratios in your head to learn them easily. Connect each symbol by creating a story to keep them all together. This will be very helpful since our mind's tendency to remember in pictures is higher than words or symbols. With these tips, it will only take you 15 minutes to learn the financial ration formulas and store them in your head. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more such informative videos. You can share your feedback in the comment section below. In case you need help with your assignments, don't hesitate to contact Assignment Prime.